Hi everyone, this update about Ethereum. Ethereum is still struggling to move higher and starting to move down, guys. I give you one of price target $2,011. We touched that area and after that, we started to drop down, guys. You guys remember, I give one of my minimum requirement to achieve. So, uh, Ethereum already achieved that minimum requirement. Uh, after that, Ethereum started to drop down and pulling back. So now everyone considering the Ethereum is going to be as a wave 4 and a wave 5th is completed. Even I can consider wave 5th is completed. But still I really love to see. Personally I really love to see 2161 for Ethereum. Still possible. You guys can see the price is holding right now 1827. That meaning almost $300. For $300, this is not that much harder for Ethereum. You guys can see this candle, uh, 1881 and the beginning is 1600. One candle in a one day, three uh, almost $250. So we can have we can recover within a one day if we are in a super bullish right now. So it's still not yet. Subscribe the channel, subscribe the channel, press the like button, leave a comment, guys. That's how we're motivating me and help me to achieve 2000 subscribers level. And uh, still not a join with us in a telegram channel, join with us in a telegram channel as well. So previously we have a super bullish candle, we guys can see here, pretty much uh, one, how many dollars we can consider. So in this case, $265 in a one candle we have a gain guys. So that kind of one candle, it's made the super bullish scenario. You guys can see the major drops is happened. And after the, all the major drops, major pullback, you guys can see I will draw something. We start touch here and dropped here. Again, we touch again, dropped. So right now the same scenario again, we touch here, drop drastically. Again, we touch, drop drastically. And I, before I, I talk about in Ethereum, I personally love Ethereum drop to 1810. If someone continuously watching that area, I personally believe that is the best area to Ethereum to jump guys. And personally, I believe that is the best support level for Ethereum. In case of Ethereum drop that support level, that is going to be the dangerous scenario for Ethereum. You guys remember this is the best and large wave support guys we need to bounce from here in case of we did not get bounce from here that's going to be the disaster scenario right now in a daily candle previously i measured in here this dropped actually guys this dropped not that much validate so you know why i'm saying because this drop why i'm saying not valid this is only just the one day you guys can see here there is several days we have the similar drop in a previous day that's several days how many is one two three four five six seven days one week drop almost right now four days might be we can drop two more days as well small cannot who knows anyway you guys can see how, how bigger this candle is move both sides up and down and after that the candle is closed as a small wick so uh, if i consider this is the peaked area and this is the bottom area guys and i will copy that and paste here so pretty much it shows something significant that my price target is accurate 1810 is going to be the next larger wave support so even though price is showing this is i copy the same levels guys i did not change it you guys can see the same levels it show exactly right now where we're we going to land so even though that is the one of possibility and the next is the danger possibility now i'm going to talk about so uh, don't leave the video in between guys might be you will lose something very important I would love to have a one more chart otherwise it's going to be too messy and this is the chart everyone knows but my expected area i already marked down so my expected areas this is i consider we're going to hit the higher levels guys this is the area but we already hit right now here so we consider in case of this is the particular area as a wave 
uh, fifth then we can uh, think about it the next larger wave second so that's what we are going to talk about and one more scenario in the daily you guys can see 200 period moving average it's already very close and previously we already hit that particular area drop drastically guys so consider if you considering the drop is here the how far almost 79 percentage that 79 percentage drop if i consider from here in case we still we did not touch 79 79 79 76 anyway okay 76 the 469 for ethereum in case of that drop is happened the entire altcoins market is going to be the less than feel so many items uh, so many coins guys that is the one of scenario i need to show you the probabilities the what is happened so might be where we landing and what happened in a previous always we consider what happened in the previous what happened in the right now and might be it can be the uh, repeat in the future same as it is that's called uh, probabilities guys it might be happen it might be no but i already talked about previously the entire crypto market going to be dropped below than 850 million it's happened and i talk about bitcoin going to drop below than 20000 it's happened so i talk about polygon matic going to be dropped drastically it's happened so everything which i talk about it's happened but right now the difficulty is there in case of the rejection started from here for ethereum merge that going to be the drastically drop for ethereum that's what i personally believe in case of we move above higher retest that particular area you guys can see in here after we cross 2116 and again 2974 there is no support and resistance apart from one that in 2507 only guys so we have a once only one resistance going to be the 2000 uh, 500 area and after that straight away 2900 if we don't we don't not that much hurt that resistance because we have only two times one in here and one in here in case of we move higher than that that's what i told you we are going to hit 3571 that is the large wave resistance previously and that is one more scenario and the second scenario you guys can see the same trend line i have same as ethereum uh, sorry same as bitcoin i have one more trend line in here so we are going to move we are going to break that trend line right now pretty much we touch the 200 period moving average and the trend line everything together we drop drastically that is descending trend line and the descending sorry uh, de uh decreasing uh 200 period moving average or declining sorry guys the declining 200 period moving average uh also that time we drop drastically you guys can see as a way waterfall sell-off is in in 870 881 so right now we are already moved so you guys consider and this move equal to this move for me right now at the moment the way of move price how much is the percentage 66 so i will copy that move and paste here and still we can go higher that's what i tell you guys we can start it to go higher and touch that particular area and get dropped drastically that's much more equal areas and much more equal price targets guys so i will change the color of this chart that's the better even though i believe so this is the yellow color i already consider where the price is going to be and hit so if you love the content and if you love the idea guys right now i don't want to talk about i give you all the price target where this is the resistance and target if we consider we are going to be high now high level one and right now the first dropped so my expected area to drop one of these price target price could hold guys for sure 
So in case of we did not hold one of these price targets, that's going to be the danger scenario. This is one, might be we go again 1,100 levels, guys, because this is the area, 1,200 levels, not 100 levels. It's possible to land again 1,271 levels to get bounced. That's going to be again 786 FIP level, guys. That's what I need to tell you. So let's consider if in case of we land it. So that's going to be the again nearby 786 FIP level. So that's what the how the price move, guys. So you guys can see what is really happening. And I give one of my best view. It should move a little bit down. And this one 382 FIP level. And you hear this one. So my personal expectation in 2,161, if we go and hit that particular area, break that trend line, the super bullish scenario. So then we can land it again, the same areas is fine. So just little bit the difference. Anyway, if you love the content, subscribe the channel, press the like button, leave a comment guys. That's how we're motivating me and help me to achieve 2,000 subscribers level. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Be safe, guys.